All right, if you've been in a car accident, and it may be partially your fault, are you barred from recovering damages for injuries, uh, damage to the vehicle? And, uh, well, the question is it depends um, the extent of your fault in causing the accident. Ohio has a contributory fault statute. It is revised code 2315.33, and it basically says that a plaintiff is not barred from recovering uh, even if that person is at fault if the extent of their fault is no greater than the fault of all other parties combined that the plaintiff is suing. So just for sake of simplicity, say a plaintiff is suing one defendant, um, the plaintiff needs to be 50% at fault or less in order to be able to recover. So a 50-50 split, you still may be able to recover. But the thing is that a court is going to reduce a damages award proportionately to the percentage of fault that can be attributed to the plaintiff. So if a plaintiff is 50% at fault, their damages award is going to be cut in half. If a plaintiff is 25% at fault, that plaintiff's damages award is going to be reduced by 25%. Um, well, who determines the amount of fault? It's usually a question for a jury uh, or a judge if it happens to be a bench trial. But if you go to trial and it's a jury trial, uh, it's ultimately going to be up to the ju jury to look at the evidence, weigh the evidence, and say, and if it's 0% at fault, 10%, 50%, or even greater, 60%. In that case, plaintiff will get nothing uh, if it's 50% or less. As I mentioned, there will be that reduction in the damages. Uh, I found a case, just as an example, it's a car accident. There were no personal injuries. It was all about property damage to the plaintiff's vehicle. And it was, uh, the name of the case is Yang Lu versus The Ohio State University, 2014, Ohio 5904, that's the site. Um, Lu was driving through an apartment complex uh, parking lot, presumably looking for a parking spot. A maintenance vehicle backs out, backs into Lu's car, causes damage to the vehicle. Uh, Lu claimed that the driver of the maintenance vehicle was on his cell phone. I believe the driver of the maintenance vehicle admitted that he wasn't paying attention, didn't see the vehicle, uh, that it essentially was his fault, but did claim that Lou was driving left of center in this parking lot and somehow that should attribute some fault to, to Lou. Well, it, this was a bench trial, there's no jury, it just went in front of a judge or magistrate. Judge found for the plaintiff, but did find the plaintiff was 10% at fault. So Lou was requesting around $1,700 in damages, um, and the judge reduced that by 10% to attribute uh, the fault to Lou. So that's just sort of a quick example of how it works. Um, the main point being that if you are in an accident and you think it may be your fault, at least in part, but you've been injured or you've sustained damages, you still may have an actionable claim where you can recover some damages even though you may be partially at fault. Uh, you really should consult with an attorney on that. They can provide some guidance. It's certainly something our firm can help you out with.